it's Barry. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk all about the olive green bag that's in the April cloth and paper subscription box. I'm going to show you 10 ways to use this. Before we get started with this, I just want to remind you that I'm doing a monthly giveaway for March. I'll go over that at the end of this video. So let's talk about this bag. First of all, I mean, I'd love to have one in black too, but the fact that it's olive green is just incredible. This bag weighs nothing. Okay, well, it does weigh something. I did weigh it. It weighs 2.8 ounces. So it's not going to add any heft to anything that you're using it for. I think you're going to find at least one of the uses that I mentioned will work for you. So it's got a zipper and it's got the same nylon material inside and out. And my first thing when I saw this was, why can't I get a vest made out of this same material? Because I love the color and then I would be matchy matchy, but that might be a little crazy. So the most obvious use for this would be to take your spiral planner that we all received. We all got the 2024 horizontal planner. And of course it fits in here perfectly. And then that is protected and you don't have to worry about it. It also works perfectly with an iPad. This one is an 11 inch iPad Pro and it goes in here and you still have plenty of room to put anything else in there. You could also fit multiple planners in here. So here are three half letter uh, planner notebooks that I use on a regular basis. This is especially good because you don't have to worry about scratching your covers as much if you have it in something like this. So that's three half letters uh, using three quarter inch discs and still room for other items. Another thought would be to take my two most used Louis Vuitton desk agendas in which I have half letter disc bound set up with three quarter inch discs. And I thought I would see how it worked with two of them in there. And it worked perfectly as you will see, and still plenty of room. And this is an A5 cloth and paper foundations planner. And that also fits perfectly, plenty of room. For all of you who like to overstuff your planners, it will fit. This is very movable. You can also fit classic HP, and obviously anything smaller is going to fit. You can fit multiple CP petites plus all your supplies in there. This is approximately 11 inches by 11 inches. So you can also fit things that are eight and a half by 11, but not if there's a bigger binder that would stretch it out a little bit too much. But if you do have a pad, for example, that's an eight and a half by 11 pad that would fit in. So here's another way to use this is kind of a quarterly roundup. So what I did is I simply placed the January, February, and March bags that we got with our subscription box. And I have some items that are still being stored in there because I haven't used them yet. And you have plenty of room in here. And this would be a great way to keep your planner supplies beautifully organized from your sub boxes. I love these bags too, especially this one. I did have to buy an extra when the subscriber exclusives became available, but this is just a whole new level. My favorite idea for using this is as a content creator's heaven. You can fit everything in here. This is a tripod that extends up to 72 inches and you can mount your camera. There's lights on it, very inexpensive, but it fits in no problem. Also, if you use a stabilizer and I have done it with this connected, if you need to get it in and out quickly, you can keep it connected or you can just keep the parts there. I've got my microphones, I could add lights, I could add other things because there's just plenty of room. Another idea would be to use it as a sticker stash. I use these disc bound organizers for all my different stickers. I have them organized. These are only my slim minimals 
which are 99% custom except for the days of the week, which I purchase. The rest of them are all custom words that I've had her do. And then I have, these are just ones that are white foil and then more assorted here. I have several more of these books and there's even room for more. Okay, another use would be to take the wonderful nylon pencil cases, if you've collected them, as I have, and use those inside. So believe it or not, these all fit in here neatly. Of course, black, my favorite color, and then my second favorite color, olive. Who knew? And all of those fit in here. So in case you were wondering what I use these for. So this one is a backup of my most important implements that relate to my planning. It's not the stuff I use every day. They're in another place. This is pre-packed, ready to go whenever I need it, and it's the backups. So, of course, my favorite pen, the Kokio Gel ME pen. My Zig Clean Color Dot in Platinum. I use the Platinum and the Black most often. Should probably add a black in here. This is a wonderful olive green gel pen that I got from Cloth and Paper like maybe four years ago, could be five. It's, it's, it is wonderful. I've got my shiny silver and then the high level highlighter in olive, wonderful. And then the best adhesive ever that of course Cloth and Paper introduced me to, the Nerino Plus, and then a pair of compact scissors. So all of a sudden have to go somewhere with my planner, I just grab this to be sure I have everything I need. Very lightweight, ready to go. This one is assorted cords for different things. This one I have on my desk, just underneath where my computer is so that I can grab it quickly. And I just keep my AirPod Pros, my little recorder, and my remote from Apple TV so that I can grab them without having them move around and sit around on my desk. This one houses some page flags and things for on the go, of course, using these, of course, using this wonderful organizer that I got at Cloth and Paper. I have two in there. And then this is a main travel chargers, uh, dual USB-C, the best battery charger that charges all of my devices when I'm traveling, or if we lose power, I live in a hurricane territory. My Airfly, lots and lots of adapters and chargers. And in this one, I also have a pair of compact scissors just for an emergency that I received from Nubia at the Chicago Planner Conference. They're so adorable. I also thought this would be great if you're taking a lot of jewelry on a trip that could work really well. So the last use I wanna mention is my most favorite and how I plan to be using this for sure. And that is to have travel essentials in my carry-on bag. So you get on a plane, you've got your carry-on backpack or tote, but you've got a lot of things in there. Some things you want with you right in your seat on the plane. And that's what I've packed in here. So if I have a tote, this can go in and then all the rest of my things can go in in the tote too. And this, I just pull out when I'm ready to go. Lately, when I've been traveling, I've been using this really small, super lightweight backpack. And I was worried about whether this was gonna fit and it actually works perfectly. This goes in here and I still have room for all my other things. But once I'm in the plane, I can pull this out and close this and put it under the seat. So what would I have in here? On any given day, it can change, but most likely my AirPod Max because with the noise canceling, it's just wonderful to have these on the airplane. Probably a couple snacks, my on-the-go travel planner and my... CP Petite, my iPad mini, so I'm entertained, some gum for takeoff, and of course my phone. Hopefully that gave you some ideas of how to use this and also what fits. All I can say is this, I think you're gonna love it. So a detail of the March giveaway will be shown in a video later this week. So be sure to stay tuned for that. You can enter once on every March video. And if you wanna enter the March giveaway, all you need to do, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, 
I'd love to know how you're planning to use this bag. And if you're not signed up yet, you have until April 5th to do that. If you haven't signed up yet, there's a link below, and this will be the first month of the new intention box. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time around. Music